Hey, how's it going, everybody? My name is Dan the T-Shirt Guy. Welcome back to The Never Show. Yes, the only show with lemon-scented limes, lest I forget. And the only show with the supernatural, super awesome third eye. Why ask why? Why wouldn't you want a third eye? And yes, it's Wednesday again. That means we, The Never Show here reviews the movies. So let's get right into that. And today's movie is Fist Fight. Uh, let's run down all the things that make you want to claw your eyes out and fast forward the video real quick. But uh, uh, it is a rated R movie. It is an hour and 31 minutes. A little too long for my tastes. Uh, director was Richard Keen. V writers. Dan Robichio. It's spelled with an It's got an is X in it. I mean, how do you pronounce that? Uh, screenplay by Evan Sutter and Evan Sutcher. And Max Grenfield. A little too many store, little too many writers here, but you know, that's the new thing in Hollywood, I guess. You know, everything is just, you know, they wanna try to perk it up as big as possible. I don't know. Uh cast is Charlie Day as Andy Campbell, Ice Cube is Strickland, Tracy Morgan as Coach Crawford. Juna Bell as Holly, Dean Norris as Principal Tyler, Christina Hendricks as Miss Monette, Kumal Nija as Mehar, M-E-H-A-R, Mahar. Uh, I think this is the security guy, I believe. Uh, he had some of the best parts as he just had to stand there and take it for some of these things. Dennis Hibbett as uh, S Superintendent Johnson. Wait, isn't he the guy from Allstate? Uh, God, they got the guy from the Allstate commercials. Joanne Garcia Swisher as Maggie. Alex Neeson as Allie. S Stephanie Weir as Susie. Kim Waitley is the is the is the nine one one operator. Oh uh, God, this this was probably the only thing that I feel that they spoiled in the trailers. And I was really upset with that because it is a funny bit, but they spoiled it in the trailers. Austin Jazar, Zar, or whatever his name is, Z A J U R, as Neil. Gordon Dennis is Irie. Bill Kopkamp. And I didn't need to see this kid. This movie could have been at without him. They could have cut his part through the whole movie. Seriously. Uh, basically he was performing an adult act in a high school bathroom as a high schooler and uh, I didn't need to see this and it was, and they ran with the prank. Now the production companies, production companies are New Line Cinema, Village Roadshow Pictures, 21 Lap, Lapis Entertainment, Wrigley Pictures, Von Brand, and our U.S. distributor was Warner Brothers, the mess. Stick. <laughs> uh, there were visual. There was actual visual effects. Crafty Apes was the visual effects company. I'm not going to go into the rest because it's boring, and I have so much to say about this film. Uh, basically, the high level of swearing, drug references, incest jokes, and basic giant penises everywhere. And yes. It was just hilarious. Every single shot, there was either, until the end, there was penis jokes. Um, Basically, they gave schools a bad name. They showed the kids are completely out of control. And maybe they are. I don't know what school is like. I've been out of school for 25 plus years now. I stopped counting. I stank at school and it was a rough time. 
And I was glad when it was over because once I left school, everything that was horrible about it didn't matter anymore. Uh, I just felt like I felt like Ice Cube as Mr. Strickland was stereotyped. I felt like Chris Daly proved that he was a big worm and that only then only when he stood up for himself did he actually learn anything. Uh, Tracy Morgan was the dumbest coach around. It just seemed there was a lot of jokes that just really fell fat, flat for me. Either I'm not hip with it. Charles Daly tried to buy drugs from a student and he called it Molly. And I actually had to look it up because basically I'm not into the drug culture. I don't know what Molly is, but it's basically ecstasy or MDMA, which basically don't do drugs, kids. It's horrible. And I just bumped the mic. I'm truly sorry about that. Uh, Dean Norris was over, you know, his usual, very strict, but over the top self. He seemed so irritated and Christina Hendricks was really over the top, even for a French teacher. None of the teachers I knew carried butterfly knives when I was in school or dressed anything like that. Dang how the world has changed. So, uh, basically Ice-T learned that he can be a dick to people and be an aggressive jerk and end up the nice guy in the end. And basically, uh, Charlie Day learned that you can't weasel out of everything. And sometimes words aren't going to get you by. The movie was too long. I feel like they had way too many jokes that fell too flat for my, for my taste. So uh, do I see this as a theater rewatch? No. Do I see this as a DVD buy? No, but I highly recommend it if you've got an hour and 30 minutes to kill and you're with your significant other and you want to watch a movie that has some kind of story to it, but you don't want to watch Fifty Shades Darker, I highly recommend this one as a red box rental on that just that uh do i see this as a tv watch maybe just because i know that they'll edit, edit out some of the curse words and the kid doing the business in the bathroom so maybe a tv watch so if you like what you see in here wise men say like if you like and subscribe uh, if you want to see more of this. And just remember that uh, if you comment, response is 100% guaranteed, even if I just tell you to have a lemon scented lime day. And if you want to see more of this, uh, make sure you click that bell bell so you know when the new videos come out. And I will see you all in the next movie review. Bye.